Did you two run into each other? Hey everybody, welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Reinforcement Pack. Chris here, and uh, we have a fight with the Galactica. Um, I split the two Jupiters. Um, I like the firepower that two Jupiters give. It's much the same as the Artemis. Two of them working together, lots of lots of pain and destruction. However, it makes building a fleet with a cap of 8,000 difficult. In short, you get two squadrons of vipers and missile tube plus a boatload of guns. I'm not going to argue about the guns. Um, but four squadrons of vipers, the ability to defend themselves with flak, and two missile tubes. We can get that for much less. Alright, we don't get as many guns, but we get something that can do exactly the same job. Just not slightly as well for a lot less. And we get more support craft to go with them. However, I do not suggest that the, the Jupiter is not a good ship. I just think the Artemis is... In this game, in fact. Not in general. It's more of a bargain. You can probably put it down to the labels, you know, like clothing labels and things like that. You can get a, a t shirt that does the job, it's comfortable and all that kind of stuff, and then you get a label and it's alright, it feels a little bit more comfortable than things, but still, you're paying for the label. In this, you're paying for the Jupiter name, that's what you're paying for. Um, but like I said, does have more guns, so I am not discounting them entirely. This fleet here has, in fact, a Jupiter, two Artemises, um, a Yanis, Minotaur, and a Manticore. So six ships. Getting up to seven would be difficult. It's right at the cap. Well, it's a couple of hundred off the cap, but that's about it. But we're going to see how it works. We've got this fight here. They're on the way to this uh, side up here. Um, and once they've done that, assuming everything works out, we don't need to respect them again. But we're going to there. So, let's do this. Should be a fairly straightforward fight. It's 13%. At least I hope it'll be a fairly straightforward fight. However, we do have to uh, set them up. Uh, so I move things around. Okay, uh, slight change. The Jupiter is going to be on the bottom. I suppose we could put it the other way around because it does have big guns on top. All right, we'll do that. Do that. Yep. Um, Minotaur is going underneath the other Artemis, which is replacing the the Atlas that was in there. So we get six squadrons and. Most of the ships should be able to defend themselves from black, uh, from missiles, without the need of for sweepers. So that is six whole squadrons. I was thinking about getting rid of the Minotaur as well and going for um, like four battle stars. Let me know what you think about that. That being said, I didn't get rid of the Atlas lightly. All right, damage sponge is just. Irreplaceable. Um, right, let's Viper up. And we'll go with some nukes as well. Uh, 
Should I go with three nukes? Um, let me know what you think about this. Do you, do you like what I'm doing? Uh, do you think it's a nice little change? Or do you have another setup? I know there was someone out there who suggested two Jupiters and three Atlas and a Manticore. That is ten Viper Squadrons. That is an awful lot of firepower. My main issue with that was there was no... Missile. So you could go to Jupiter, to Atlas. I don't know, um, a Ranger, a Yanis. That would give you missiles. Wait, your Atlas isn't as offensive capable as a Battlestar. So we're open to options here. Like I said, I could drop off the Minotaur and go for another Artemis. Or maybe see if I can get two Jupiter and two Artemis in there. That could be uh, interesting. That could be interesting. <laughs> There's options. We have options open to us. That's what I'm trying to say here. Comment section. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with that? Ooh, interesting. I'm going to start playing because I've just been sat here. Rabbiting. It's one problem with doing videos. You never really notice how much you rabbit. And then suddenly you're uh, kind of sitting there going, right, okay. And you've been sat for five minutes just talking to yourself. Well, talking to the camera, talking to you guys. But pretty much you're in the room on your own. And it can make it sound like you're in love with your own voice. It doesn't help when games don't load straight away. And then you have to fill the void of space. Prepare to jump in three, time. two, with the one. sound of your own voice. And you can hit your microphone button uh, boom as well. Okay, where are we go. Where are you? There you are. Couldn't you have been this side? I mean, the Jupiter wouldn't have had to turn. All right, guys. So say we all. Yes, Commander. All right, gotta keep. Yes, Commander. This Artemis with Jupiter. I think I might have put you guys too close together. Separate you out a bit. There you go. That's better. Understood. All right, let's launch some vipers. Yep, that's it. We're all done. Can't believe that went quick. What are you launching, people? What are you launching? Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five. It's not ideal. Uh, defend Manticore. So say we all. On it, Commander. Right, you. You're shooting off to one side. We don't want you to do that. We want you to go straight at it. If it was Bruce Dreadus now. Maybe not that far. What if we get him the next turn? We might do. Oh, 
Oh, the Vikings can stay with him. Go. Phobos. Saris. Hostile unit identified. What is arming there? What is arming? That looks like a normal mine. That looks like a PCM. Hey, you are moving really quickly. Why are you changing yes, sir. altitude so fast? You all on attack. Why are you just jumping all over the place in comparison? Yes, sir. So say we all. Phobos. Serest. Okay, we're going after the Serest. Hopefully give off. Missile tubes prepped. Um Nope. Nope. That's what I'm looking for. Hopefully give our, uh, our Vipers a bit of a clear run, or at least a way to take it out quickly. Certainly do not want to waste a nuke on it. But you can waste bullets on it, so... Doop. Hostile unit identified. Alright, that's not ideal. Let's see what we've got here. Arachne, Arach uh, Arachne, two Phobos. How many squadrons have we got to deal with? One, two, three, four. I think it was five to begin with. Well, one, two, three, four, five. There you go, five. Okay, so how many launching craft have we got so far? One, two, three, four, two, zero. That's got to be either another Arachne or a Phobos. Either way, it ain't good. So say we all. Launch. Understood. Are you? Okay. Um, now something happened before, and I want to see if it works again. Basically, the last time we launched nukes near a Phobos, well, the first time we launched nukes near a Phobos, the nukes blow up early. Now I want to know if it's because we were targeting them at the Phobos. Because since then, it hasn't happened. But we need to get rid of these fighters first. Missiles incoming! Alright, you are going to have to drop down. Understood. So say we all. On it, Commander. 
So say we all. Uh, Vipers, how are we doing? One, two, three, four. You've taken out one squadron already. Nice. I'm impressed. Uh, you are firing at that as well. That's not entirely good. I was hoping to avoid the damage, but I don't think I'm going to have a chance. Uh, flak. There's a chance that we'll save some of it. I doubt it. Still didn't get through. That's impressive. That is impressive. Okay, boys and girls. Understood. Yes, sir. Okay. Can't find the nukes right now. Black's in the way. Focus fire. No, ignore that. Let the... Vipers do their thing. Don't leave your buddy. Go. Squadron has gone dark. Select target. off. Cancel. Uh, Vipers. Yes, sir. Target that. Ignore Manticore. Manticore is no longer there. Manticore is invisible to you. Excellent. Okay, you. Do you have a nuke? You do have a nuke. Target that. Yes, Commander. Good, other than guns. Nope, leave that to the Vipers. Of which there may be some left by the end of the time they're flying through our flak field. I stress may. I really don't think there will be. I think they'll be dead. Go. Missiles incoming! Do you two run into each other? No, no, you ran into the top of the Jupiter. You didn't give me a collision warning, but you ran into the top of the Jupiter. Of course you did. And that nuke's not going to be useful. Yes, Commander. It's flying off into space now, because these two are too damn good at their jobs. Great. Great. Yaris is dead. We've got no armor on the left side. No, because that's getting killed by those already. Um... Focus. No. There. Uh, 
that's almost dead. Cancel flag. No, I said I didn't want to waste a nuke. Yeah, I don't want to waste a nuke. Hostile unit identified. Fairly sure they were just waiting for us to turn it off. No collision warning. So say we all. <sighs> not a single collision warning. And that nuke's not going to be worth it. Uh, focus fire on that. There goes the other nuke. Both nukes! Just completely missed. People, kill that. You. Yes, sir. Turn around. Okay, that was interesting. We need another Yanis. I might try. I mean, we, we could be changing up this, couldn't we? Um, I'm going to jump this guy back over here. Alright, I mean, we could be changing up this fleet. We could be going with another Artemis. We could be going with two Jupiters, two Artemises. Give me things, people. Um, I mean, this one was going to go to that job, but unfortunately, it's a little under strength now. <laughs> no collision warning whatsoever, just. Oh well. Um, yeah, so, ideas for this fleet to go into the last mission. I need ideas for this particular fleet to go last mission. Strike Fleet 2 is the the one that's going. You need to send a Galactica. Galactica is part of Strike Fleet 2, so that's the one that's going. Fine. What do I send? What is the makeup of this fleet? Answers on the postcard. Or the comment section, whichever one you prefer. But that'll be for next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like what you saw, then please do consider subscribing. Until next time. You lot, take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.